this on. Okay, right, good morning. Um, so we've learned how to factorize. We added some more ways to factorize uh, things we didn't learn last year. And now, just like last year, we're going to apply factorization. And I can think of two ways when you use factorization. One is to simplify fractions, which is what we're going to do this week. And later on this year, we're going to use it to actually solve equations. Okay? So we've got a fraction like this, and we want to make it simpler. Okay? We want to make it simpler. Okay? How are we going to do it? Okay? Any thoughts? I'll just pause here and see what you guys have to say. Okay, so Booz was saying, all right, I can factorize the top. I can pull out, what can I pull out? Six. Eight. Okay, so if I pull out an X, what will I have in my bracket? Six minus six. X one. minus one. one. Okay, so X squared minus X. And then I divide by X, and then what can I do? Get my red pen and cross cancel. Cross cancel, well done, you just cross cancel the X. Okay, so I'm left with X minus one, which is... Simplify, I got rid of the denominator. Okay? Get, uh, I got rid of the x. It's a bot it's a bottom. Okay, you can see I simplified. The instruction you're gonna have in the test, there will be questions like that, will be to simplify. I'll just pause here for a second. Okay, so that was our first one. It was really, really easy. Okay. What about now? What do you reckon I can do now? I want to see. Yes, I was thinking to take out the Okay, so so cross cancel four a like ah. What do you mean to take? Okay, good. Okay, good. I I tried to catch you here, and you did. What what some people might be thinking of doing? Yeah, I can do it now. They're gonna say, okay, I can cross four i and four i, but why can't I do it? Well, there's a square. Even if there wasn't a square, let's say there wasn't a square, can't I just say, okay, that's one and one? No. No. I can't do it because I've got that minus here. This is the thing, you know, I've been working with a lot of uh, students lately, and this is where things go wrong. You can only cross cancel if you have something times something. I'll give you an example. Uh, 2 times 3 divided by 8 times uh, 9. Okay? Mm. Now I can cross, I've got the times, okay? So I can cross cancel 2 and 8 to get 1 and 4. four. 3 and 9 to get 1 and 3. three. So that will be 1 over 12. That's correct. That's correct. Okay? But if I change that into 2 plus 3 divided by 8 plus or minus 9, can I cross cancel now? No, I can't. And this is one of the most common mistakes that people do all the way in grade 12. Okay? Because this thing tells me, listen, you've got to add 2 and 3 first, and then you divide by 8 minus 9. You can't start cross cancel. If you start cross canceling, okay, you're doing the wrong thing. Okay, this is really, really important. Are we happy with that? I'll just pause here. I just want to make sure. Okay, so it's precisely because you can't cross-cancel, because we have a minus here, we want to turn it into time. So because of that, Twenga says, okay, let's factorize it. In fact, everyone here said that pretty much. So we're going to take 4a out. Okay, and if I take 4a out, a, a minus 2. And now because it's 4a times a minus 2, now I can cross-cancel that, and I've got a minus 2. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Okay, let's you just can copy it for a second. Right, so so this this is really the level from last year. Now I'm pushing it a little bit. That was like hard last year. This year it's kind of supposed to be easier. So first of all, I've got this this divide. I've got a fraction divided by a fraction. Okay, what do we do then? Leo, yeah. You flip it, you're right. Okay. So we're going to turn it into, we'll flip it like this. Uh, I'm supposed to keep change, change things. Oh. That's it. Right. Okay? But now, what are we going to do with this flip one? It. I'll keep that full. No, what, what are we going to do? What did we do now? So factorize, factorize it. it. So what should I take out? A, a squared. A squared, in fact. Okay? And then in the brackets, I'll have? A, a, a minus, minus 1. one. one. So can't you cross cancel with 8 and 4 and 8 to the Correct. 
So now because I have multiplied, well, I had multiplied to begin with, a can fall be one and a squared dies. Okay, and then we get a one times two. A one times two. I'll put the two in front. That doesn't matter. And then we shouldn't really leave the answer like that. Times two a minus two. Okay. So this, is this is probably the lowest level you can get. Uh, yeah. How did you get the two in front of the bracket? Uh, uh, you can put the two a minus. I uh, had the two here, isn't it? Yeah, I could do it too. So a minus one times two. Yeah, I had the two here, so I can't leave it. Uh, the four and the eight got cross cancelled, one and two, so I need to multiply it by two. But a minus one times two is the same as two times a minus one. It's the same thing. Well, I can swap. Okay, I'll pause here, get you to do some work, and we'll move to more difficult things later. Okay, chaps, um, we better move on, okay? You see really good work here, but I know I said I'm not going to go through four, but actually I want to show you something about four. Hopefully everyone got it all right. Okay, so four was like this, yeah? Now, as we've learned, we see we take a factor out from the top, in this case, just the top. If we can take a factor from the bottom, it's fine. It's, it's good as well. So I'm going to take 4m out, and that means that m plus 1 divided by 4m squared. Now, at this point, we start cross-canceling. 4 and 4. What is m divided by m squared? m. Where is the m? At the top or the bottom? The bottom. The bottom. So it's really, it's not m. It's 1 over m. That's what you want to tell me. It's 1 over m. Okay? So the answer we get is m plus 1 over m. Now, if you leave it like that, it's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I'll do questions in a minute. Or what you can do is do something I remember I showed you in grade 8, I think. You can split it like this. You can split this fraction into two fractions. You can say m divided by m, which is 1, plus 1 over m, 1 over m. So either one of those is fine. Either one of those. I think actually leaving it in this form is probably neater. And I think most of you did that as well. So that is absolutely fine. I'll just pause here and answer questions. Okay, so, so six really is where things are starting to look a little bit more like what you're going to do this year. Okay, so we got to factorize at the top and at the bottom. It's not because I've got also a minus here. So I can't just start factorizing. Obviously, I'm sure all of you knew that you can't just factorize the x squared, right? Yeah. right? So I need to factorize the bottom. The bottom is easy. I just got to get an x out, right? x times x minus 2. That was easy. But how do I factorize the top? What is it called? Difference of a square. Difference of a square. You got to always remember all these strategies we learned in the beginning of the year. So that's going to be x plus 2 times x minus 2. And now look at this. That's very neat. That cross cancel. So the answer is x plus 2 divided by x. And you can do that thing again. I'll just pause that. Yep. Yeah. Um, right. So the level really that you're going to work with this year is that sort of stuff. Okay. So we've got a trinomial at the top. And at the bottom, we've got a simple factoring out. So we're going to take a 2 out, meaning x minus 3. This is a trinomial, the easy kind, the one we learned last year. Okay, there is 1 in front of the x squared. I've got to think about two numbers that add up to minus 5 and multiply to 6. So because this is negative and this is positive, I know both numbers must be negative. So it's going to be minus 3 and minus 2. Okay? Then I can cross-cancel that. And I've got x minus 2 divided by 2. So it's easier than you think. think. So it's it's like easier than you think. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta do one bit at a time. You basically factorize the top, factorize the bottom, cross cancel. Mm -hmm. This one, okay, similar. Well, same idea, but now I have a difference of a square there, which shouldn't be difficult for you. Okay. The problem is here. Here we have a difficult trinomial. So just like I saw Bourgeois did, when you write it down, just Put a line uh, on the side or at the bottom. Just work out. Try and work out this one. How do we work out this one? We're going to split that first term. Okay? 
So I need to have two numbers that will add up to minus 5 and multiply to minus 6. In fact, I think it's, well, it's not the same. Minus 6 plus 1. Minus 6 plus 1. So it's going to be minus 6. Just stay with me, please. Minus 6x plus x. Thank you, Hinkle. They add up to minus 5x and they multiply to minus 6. Now, you see, and I'm writing it separate. I'm just leaving it there because I need to know how to factorize it. Okay? So then I'll, I'll take a factor 2x which means x minus 3 plus x minus 3. That could be a little bit confusing for some of you because there's no number here. But still, you can see that factor is x minus 3. The common factor is x minus 3. And then I have 2x plus 1. Now, okay, I will, I will explain it. Stay behind and I'll, I'll help you out. Okay? So this was like an aside. I just tried to factorize this. And now I've got the answer. x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. Bear with me, guys. We're almost done. Getting my red pen, crossing x minus 3, and I have x plus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. That's what I got. Now, this is a very important lesson, okay? We, it doesn't look as simple as that, because I still have something plus something at the bottom, but I can't do anything about it, okay? I can't solve cross-canceling x and x because it's flat. I look at the top, I look at the bottom, can I factorize it further? No. So this is where it ends. Okay? Guys, for homework please, page 24, exercise 13a, 9, 10, 14, and B6. It's difficult ones, I want you to have a go at it. Okay? Especially the last two are quite difficult. Good luck.